I am Adil Kumar and here is a very interesting video relating acceleration, velocity and displacement. The question is, if velocity of an object is inversely proportional to the square root of displacement, prove that acceleration is inversely proportional to the square of displacement. So let's go through this question once again. It says, if velocity of an object is inversely proportional to square root of displacement, that is velocity v, inversely means 1 over, right? So it's inversely proportional to square root of displacement. That really means velocity is equals to some k times square root of displacement. In that case, you need to prove that acceleration is inversely proportional to square of displacement. So you need to prove that acceleration is inversely proportional to square of displacement that means 1 over s square or a is equals to some constant let me write that constant as let us say let us say b right so some constant b over s square this is what we need to prove i hope you have understood the question at this stage i like you to pause the video and solve the question right now let's see uh, what is the relation between acceleration velocity and displacement we know acceleration is equals to dv dt this rate of change of velocity right now we could write this as a chain rule as dv ds and ds dt right so ds dt as you know is velocity so we could write this as velocity times dv ds so that is a relation of acceleration which we are going to use to prove this condition so what we proved here is that acceleration is velocity times dv ds right so that is very important relation let me highlight it we are going to use this relation in in most of the videos uh, relating to acceleration as a function of displacement okay so that's key now so now we know that velocity is k over square root of s right which you could also write as k times sometimes to help you find the derivative we could write this as a product right now what is dv ds dv ds in this case will be k is a constant times half s to the power of minus half right i'm sorry i should have written minus half here so minus half minus one right so that gives you k over two s to the power of minus three over two right minus three over two so that is what dv ds is now acceleration for us is v times dv ds as you know acceleration is v times dv ds now velocity here is k over square root 2 right so k over square root let me write s to the power of minus half right so that is what velocity is right that is velocity and dv ds for us is we just found it is k over 2 s to the power of minus 3 over 2 right so that is what we have so this dvds right so that is dvds so multiplying these two we get acceleration so let us write down what this is k times k is k squares so we get k square over 2 as far as s is concerned we are multiplying minus half powers so we'll add them up so it comes to minus 4 over 2 right minus 4 over 2 which is k square over 2 s to the power of minus 2 right so clearly acceleration is k square over 2 and that is s square in the denominator right now as you can see we could write this as some constant so i'm using that constant as b right over s square where b is equals to k square over 2 for me right so that really means what 
when I say acceleration is equal to b over s square, b is a constant, we can say acceleration is proportional to, inversely proportional to, s square. Do you see that? So that is how you can prove this condition. I hope these steps are absolutely clear. I have purposely done the derivation here for the benefit of my subscribers so that you understand why acceleration is treated as velocity times dvds and then we found velocity and in in with exponents right negative exponents added them up and did all the calculation in simple steps to get to the result i hope that is very helpful for all of you i'm anil kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot thank you and all the best